I'm gonna show you how great I am. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than Everybody you. Everybody has time. Stop watching lost. I love what I do, and that's why I'm doing what I love. Hey guys, welcome to Walks From Weekly. This week I am, well, today I'm just going to have a little conversation about my why and why I do the things I do, that sort of thing. Because yesterday I got interviewed for scoliosis and sort of how it affected my life and all that sort of thing, like how it affected me mentally, physically, how it sort of changes my perspectives on things. And I noticed that saying it out loud made me realize a lot of the reasons of my why. Like I've said these things before in private, but I've never really put it out there or sort of expressed it in such a public way so that's sort of what I'm doing today and by my why I think everyone should have a why by this I mean everyone should have their 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 thing that drives them to do what they want to do and the reason they want to be successful or not be successful or why they want to change people's lives they do basically so yeah for myself Obviously, when it comes to your why, it's obviously a very emotional thing. It's not something that you just know, oh, this is my why because I want money, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, maybe you want money, but that's not your why. So for myself, in a way, I believe that I, I'm i I'm scared that I will, won't be successful in the future. I'm scared that with my scoliosis and my weightlifting, maybe there will be major issues in the future that I will completely, that will be completely crippled and I won't be able to continue to deal with life anymore. And I'm also scared that maybe I just won't be able to support my family or whoever is around me. My main whys are I need to be successful because I don't, like, if I'm not, like, when it comes to scoliosis, if I do not have a ton of money when I'm older and I do not have lots of power, when they do come to change the treatment method for scoliosis, which I guarantee they will because I don't think a spinal fusion is that good, really. I think it's good. But it does have a lot of downsides. Like, I, it's it's permanently in my back. And if they ever do figure out a way to get rid of the spinal fusion and completely change my life and turn me back into a normal person, then that will probably take a lot of money because, yeah, or maybe I'll need money. So that's one of the reasons that I do need a lot of, that I know that I'm going to need a lot of money because I'm going to have to construct a lifestyle for myself where I don't have to work and I probably might not be able to work at some point in my life. So that's one thing that I'm sort of planning ahead for. I'm planning ahead by doing things like investing, like creating this side project, like getting a good normal job, all that, all those kinds of things. I'm sort of, I'm trying to be very deliberate about what I'm going to do in the next few years. <coughs> like I've sort of got this plan for the next five, ten years and it's basically building up every sort of aspect of my life to the point where if something did go wrong, I could I could take that damage. Like if I did have, say I, I had a major low back pain because of a bulging disc, I could probably I could probably handle that just because I know I'd have the, the money that I needed or I would just have the support network that I needed that wasn't just some bullshit or oh, people care about you. Like, no, I can really step shit up and change shit if I, if I want to just because I had the power. And another thing is I'd also, with the whole scoliosis thing, another part of my why and what I want to do with it is with scoliosis, my end, like, ultimate life goal is to one day change the face of scoliosis treatment because right now it's genuinely shit. Like, you can do bracing, which basically keeps you where you are and you live a limited life, you can't do a lot of things, and there's a few people who go out and they show that they can do anything while they're while they are braced but it's like in reality they are very limited and there's not much that they can do and we need to think of think of a different treatment method and then along with that comes all these people proclaiming with yoga they can fix you and with yoga that they can make you all fix and stuff and that really pisses me off because people are going to these lengths to pay all these yoga people all this money thinking that they'll they'll balance out their chakra and then make them all balance but no like the, the only thing that can really fixed scoliosis is new innovative treatment methods and that's one thing that I want to help create because I've been seeing a few treatment methods that are quite innovative like there's one in I think it was the UK where they were using they would use rope instead of um, I don't know how exactly they did it but they were using rope instead of steel rods and it was only in one side so they had a bit more just sort of freedom to move and freedom to move around but even then I don't think anyone should really be drilling in the spine because now 
for the rest of my life i don't know there's a lot of things that like could go wrong and that's something that i i'm not too keen to risk so that's why that's my why for why i want to go and get extremely wealthy and use that money not because i like money or not because i'm like i just want money it's because i want to be in a position no matter where i am in the world no matter what position i am in life i can always have the money and have the expertise to take control of my health because i know that it's going to be an issue in the future so i pretty much know that i have to get that shit unlocked now which i'm quite grateful for because a lot of people don't think about their health until they're like old as fuck and then they're still their body's screwed up so yeah so yeah i'm trying to just say i think you should figure out what your why is or just create a why and then figure out what that why is going to let you do because for myself i know my why and i it, i feel like that has helped me extremely just in the whole spectrum of life and I, i'm a fucking 18 year old but already in the last ever since i really developed my why i've sort of been driving myself towards this end game goal and i just have all these things that i know i need to complete and yeah so that basically puts me in a position to achieve more and sort of be more and then live with more purpose ever since i've started living with such purpose i definitely have been so much happier because the moment i started i knew that okay i had but i noticed i've been so much happier ever since this did happen because everything that i do now is so deliberate if i see there's no time where i'm like okay if i am going to go out and have fun it is specifically so i can relax and then get back to working because all the work that i'm doing now none of it is like oh i have to do this the work that i'm doing is all of it is like hey i need to do this thing because there's this end game goal yes sometimes i'm not always enjoying it but i know why i'm doing it and that makes me feel good about doing it and makes me actually want to do the work and that completely changes everything because with my podcast i'm i'm probably not going to get sick of this just because it's something that i know i want to do and i know it's something i want to just drive home and just go all in on and especially w with my university degree at f like last semester i was sort of like I was not I had not gone all in I was just sort of fucking around and I just I didn't even know what I was going to do after that semester because I was basically doing standard health and I didn't know where I was going or what um what I wanted to do with my life and now I've I, I it's it's narrowed down it's narrowed down into just podiatry and I think there's a lot of benefits of that because I know with a lot of people's university degrees they don't know what they're going to do after and I think that leaves them in a position to just be scared and not know where to focus their energy. Because now I know I have three or four places to focus my energy. I have the gym where I know exactly what I want now. I'm not tiptoeing between running and weightlifting. I've picked solely weightlifting for now. I'm just going to stick with that because that's what I'm getting the most enjoyment out of. And that's what I think will bring me the most benefits. And then in university, I'm sticking with just podiatry. That's all it is. There's nothing else to it. And then money, the main thing is I'm just saving up money. The idea is not to save up money to buy something. The money is just to save up money so I can invest more and then invest more and more and more and just get very good at investing. It's the general idea. So yeah, I think everything just comes together when you find your why and then things don't just come together in like the success sort of area of things. Like I've noticed just with general happiness and general friendships, everything has come together because the friends that I do keep now, they're all very, very deliberate. And I think that's very important because back when I wasn't doing any of this and I didn't sort of take control of my time and I didn't have this end game goal in life I didn't um the people I spent time with they were they didn't like I would I would spend time with anyone just because they were nice to me or whatever but like people don't have to bring you value especially not in the mon monetary sense they don't have to bring you anything like that they don't have to bring you closer to your goals but if they are making you happy and they do they are fun to hang out with without bringing negatives after the fun because i know a lot of people stay with friends because they think they're fun and they think they're good people to hang out with but if they're not really if they're, they're if they're taking away in any sense then i think the best thing to do is cut them out and yeah i sort of devi deviated a bit away from the why but i sort of just wanted to have a little rant on this sort of topic because i think it was just something i had a conversation about the other day and i just think it's something that i think is quite interesting because i know a lot of people especially at my age don't have a why at all they don't have anything like a why they have sort of just a general idea of what they want to do in life yoloing it and fucking around until they get there but then the few people that i know that are my age that do have their why they know exactly what they want and they know sort of 
they they don't they know who they want to spend their time with they know what they want to spend their time doing and i take a lot of inspiration from those people like the people i know in life that know exactly what they want they know yeah basically they know how to spend their time and they know what they want and they know what they don't want more importantly so yeah i'm probably just going to end it off here sorry if that was a bit of an aggressive rant i just sort of i don't know i just sort of wanted to see how this sort of thing rolls over if everyone if you're listening to this and you thought this was uh extremely rude rant and you hated it hated every second of it thought i was just being a bit of a cunt then um let me know um yeah let me know and i will try and see what i can do better in the future and sort of tell me if you loved this and you thought it was great then also let me know because i do think that it's very fun for me to do things like this where i'm where i just give a very opinionated talk on a topic that i don't know shit about but i'm sort of just giving my opinion and my viewpoint on because i guess that's essentially one thing that i do bring to this table sort of so yeah Thank you guys very much for listening. I would love if you check out my social media. The links will all be in the show notes. To find the show notes, you just go on the podcast and app and then it's either you will swipe onto a different screen and then the show notes will be there. They'll all be in text with links. Or if you're on the Apple's app, when you hold up the icon, you click on the thing where it says the you can scroll and you can fast forward and stuff. Um, if you just click on the image, then the show notes should come up. So yeah, I will also love if you would subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. Thank you guys very much for listening, and have a good night. Find your why.